Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Mixcraft Quick Tips, the series where we take a look at helpful tips inside of Mixcraft to improve your workflow and your productions. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at parallel processing and learn to take a drum mix from this and turn it into this using only one plugin. For more quick tips just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below, and if you have a suggestion for a future episode, let us know down in the comments. With that, let's hop into Mixcraft and get started. So, parallel processing. What is it? Parallel processing is a really cool idea where we take a signal and make a copy. Then on that copy, we add whatever effects we want and blend it in against the original signal. One of the most common examples of parallel processing and what we'll be taking a look at here today is parallel compression, where we take a signal, make a copy, add a compressor and squeeze it really, really hard, and then we blend that in back against the original signal. This is a great trick for things like drums, vocals, acoustic guitars, or any other element in your mix that maybe needs to just stand up and feel a bit bigger. But this isn't limited to compression. You could also do this with a distortion effect, a pitch shifter, or whatever else you want, because it's a cool way to process the signal without totally destroying and affecting the original. Mixcraft makes parallel processing super easy because all we need is a send track. A send track is actually parallel processing because we're sending a copy of the signal to that send track, adding an effect, and then we blend that send in against the original. This is the final product here today. What we'll be taking a look at here today specifically is the drum mix. So the drum mix soloed out sounds like this. And if we bring in the parallel compression chain, that takes the drum mix and makes it sound like this. If we solo out just the parallel chain, that sounds like this. which is really, really aggressively compressed. And that by itself would probably not sound so good in the mix, but it sounds really, really good blended alongside the original nice, tight, dry drums. To give a bit more context as to why we would do this, if we take a listen to the full mix here without the parallel compression enabled on the drums, you'll hear that the drums maybe feel a bit flat and boring and they just feel kind of buried under everything else. <laughs> Once we bring in the parallel chain though, you'll hear that these drums jump out a bit more and just sit a lot better in the mix alongside everything else. Let's recreate this parallel chain from scratch. We'll right click and add a send track here. We'll just name this comp2, something like that, nice and easy to remember. We'll go in and find a TB bus compressor. This is really all we need to get started. We just need to set up our compressor. For parallel compression, you actually typically wanna go really heavy on the compression. You don't need to be as subtle because we're going to leave the original uncompressed dry signal in the mix. We're just going to blend in a really heavily compressed copy. So we'll crank the ratio just all the way up because why not, I'm feeling adventurous. We can drop the attack down. Keep in mind the attack is going to control the amount of snappiness. So if you want things to be a bit more punchy, have a slower attack. But if you want things just to be super aggressive and squashed, drop that way, way down. The release, this is gonna be set by ear. Typically a fast release sounds good with this kind of stuff. Then we'll go over here and click the ALM button. This is going to automatically make up the gain. This way our compressor isn't going to be super, super quiet. It's just going to compensate for how heavily we're going to compress this. Next up, down in our mixer here, we're going to need to locate our send on our drum mix. So this is my drum channel here, and we can see I've got comp2 as one of my sends. If you're not seeing your sends enabled, you can click the preferences here and make sure you've got the checkbox for sends enabled. Now that we've got this all set up, let's solo out our drum mix here, and we've got comp2 ready to go. I'm gonna drop the level because this is gonna get really, really loud, and let's start sending some signal to comp2. solo that out. We'll open up the compressor here and start dialing back the threshold. Since we are going so heavy, we might need to compensate with the makeup as well. So I'm just lifting that level back up because we're really squishing the signal down. 
Now let's play with the attack just a little bit to dial in a tiny bit of snap to the drums because this is feeling a bit too lifeless and squashed. I think that's sounding pretty good. Now, all we need to do is drop the level of this track down to minus infinity in our mixer. We'll bring this in alongside our original drums. We've got those soloed out here. Let's start blending in the parallel signal. As you can see there, I brought that up to only minus 20. So a little bit of this goes a long way. If we bring it in way too hot, that's really super punchy and in your face, and that might be what you're going for if you want something really big and heavy and aggressive, but generally speaking, you want to blend this in pretty subtle, just to a point where it's going to add something, and when you take it away, it feels like something is missing. It's like a good reverb. You don't really want to know it's there. Now, with that in context, let's roll back to the beginning and start blending this in alongside the drums in the mix. Nice, and that is all there is to it. Parallel processing in Mixcraft is super easy thanks to the send tracks, and like I said, you can add any effect to this that you want, so feel free to get out there and get creative and try a bunch of really weird stuff or create a bunch of parallel chains, because you never know what'll happen. That wraps everything up for this quick tip, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.